Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So um, I'm really excited for this one. I'm just gonna make some technical stuff videos because it's my time. I'm a computer science undergrad in my pre-final year. So it's my time to give something back which I've learned from different YouTube channels. And I'm gonna make a series of videos in which I'm gonna bring really amazing content. So uh, stay tuned for that guys. This is an introduction part which I've added in this particular video because it's just a first video which I'm making. So you can just skip this part if you want to and you can just uh, view the actual content right here i'm just gonna give a timestamp um so this is just an introduction of what i'm gonna bring in for you guys so uh, let's go on with the video uh, this is the video for how to deploy your projects or files on your github and just gonna give you some overview of github how it looks and what are the operations uh this is just a basic tutorial for that and uh, i just wanted to bring something really unique and contribute back so this is the particular video introduction part so let's jump into my desktop screen so let's go on also another thing i'm right in my hostel room so i'm just making video in here i don't have a tripod so i'm just holding um, with my hand and making this part of the video uh, so the rest of the thing is uh, gonna be happening all on my desktop my laptop screen so let's jump right into it and also uh, if you want to check out different blogs let me know in the comment box below because I've been making blogs before so now it's time to make technical stuff so let's get started all right guys so let's get started with the video uh, the video is basically about github um, and how to deploy your projects or else your files from your internal memory of your laptop and just get files right from there and just deploy it on github so this is my github uh, profile you can just check out by using this link or else just you can click in the link in the description below you can just follow me over there and this is how i build it and um, i also have a readme file over here and also subscriber list right here it automatically um you know detects all the number of subscribers which i get from the youtube because this is an api which i have called from the youtube and i've just given a link over there and here are all the readme file things and this, these are all my contributions from the last year uh, let's get started with the video the main part of the video is how to deploy your project on github so before that you just need to have a github account and after that you need to go into your profile for that you can just click right here and go into your profile over there and then this will come up after that you can just click plus button over there drop down box and um, you can just click on new repository and in new repository you can just uh, click on the owner settings because it's uh, mine so i'm just gonna put that and also the repository name suppose we are just uh, you know importing some the project which i made just a tic tac toe suppose i'm just gonna add in tic tac uh, and toe. so just for a tutorial purpose i'm just gonna add in this name so the name is available to put in the description so i'm just gonna HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So I'm just gonna put that description, and after that, I'm just gonna put it as public because I wanna view it, and also I need to generate a public link so that I can you know, share it to different people. If you make it private, you cannot get link, and it won't open. So make it public and see in this thing. I'm just gonna add in readme file because it'll be easy to check out, and the description will be you know given as readme file. So I'm just gonna straight away create a repository because it's just straight away steps. So after that, uh, a readme file will be created in the readme file uh, the description and also the heading of the file um, of your repository will be shown so over here tic-tac-toe tutorial and also right here it's a classical tic-tac-toe the description has been you know shown so after this what you need to do is you need to pull the files or else you need to add in files from here i'm just gonna go into the add file and here you can create new file or else just if you have so you can just uh, get those files from you know clicking or else dragging all your files from your current folder or else directory or else you can just click choose your files and in here i'm just gonna go to my projects because uh, all my projects are over there and in here i'm just gonna click on project on tic-tac-toe it's gonna open all the files whichever are there in my particular folder so you just have to choose and all the files will be getting uploaded right here all the files have been uploaded right here and you can just commit the changes directly to the main branch over here a main branch is one of the you know important branches of our um, particular project so over here i've chosen all the files whichever are there in my folders and uh, all the files have been uploaded successfully and here you can just uh, write in some extended description or else you can just add in more files via upload so i'm just gonna commit the changes so it will process your files and it will take a few minutes to complete all right so all the files have been uploaded and also have been pulled 
to the GitHub project whichever you have created as a tic-tac-toe tutorial but in your code all the files will be located if you refresh it you're gonna have a readme file so after that what you need to do is if you want to generate a particular domain link you just uh, need to click on settings and after that you just go down github pages is basically mean as deploying your project online or else getting a domain name of your choice you can just edit it according to your project name but particular id or else your profile name will always be in your link whichever you create i'm just gonna click in to the github pages right here in the settings menu and in the settings github pages comes up and you need to select the branch whichever your projects or else your files are located you just select the branch and after that the root will be actually the root only because you don't have any docs so you just need to save for a particular thing so after that your site will be published at this particular url which it generated uh, automatically let me just zoom in and show you guys so this is the particular link which it has been deployed to and if you open it your project will be running successfully but you also need to do one step you need to have a theme or else you can just select some particular themes for your project because if the project will be lost or some changes have been done then this theme will be you know kind of appearing so after that you just need to go to settings again and after that you just go to pages and here you have chosen source has been selected the theme has been selected to this thing after that you can either change the theme or else you can just click on your link you can also access your link from actions you can go to the pages and click this particular tic-tac-toe link this will take time after two minutes you come back and check your project will be running successfully so let me just refresh and check out and uh, i can see here a 404 error because uh, it doesn't have all the files already in the github it'll take two to three minutes let's wait and check all right guys uh, the project has been successfully deployed and you can check out right here you can just access it using you know your cursor of your computer and you can click in also responsive you can also play it on your on your phone alternately you can just play on and go on that was the video guys thank you so much for watching this video so stay tuned for next videos coming up in this technical playlist which i'm making please subscribe go hit the like button and i'll see you in the next video